Dr. Mia Williams is headed to the Super Bowl after the Seahawks honor her with the NFL Changemaker Award. It's high marks all around from Maple Elementary. The moniker recognized the School of Distinction. We've also got news on the Week of Code at AAMA's We So Up Awards. All this and more coming up on First Bell. Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Casey, proud principal of the Center School. And we're taking over First Bell! Hey, SBS. I'm Charlotte Choka McCrary. And I'm Rasan Summerquist. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. It may be a new year, but we've still got some great things happening in our schools. So let's get into it. The Office of African American Male Achievement ended the year on a high note when it was announced that their leader had been given a prestigious award. Arrows has the story. The NFL's Inspired Change Awards recognizes people who are making a difference in their communities through social justice work. The Seahawks selected Dr. Mia Williams as their 2023 Changemaker Award winner. Dr. Williams has served in Seattle Public Schools for nearly three decades. As the executive director of AAMA, she has made it her mission to enhance the school experience for black students through programs like Kingmakers and Whole Mentoring. Mario Bailey works for the Seahawks organization and has known Dr. Williams for many years. He shared how she has impacted his life. She said, you're coming with me. I said, let's go. And we got to Aki and I got to see the same thing. It's just not her babies. The kids love her and adore her and she's taking care of them. And she's the principal, but she's taking care of them like she's their, uh, their mother and they love her as such. But it was the staff too. Like there's many of staff that she uh, got to be administrators, got on, helped them with their lives. She was always checking on me. She made sure I had a job. Um, she took great, great care of me. Dr. Williams learned about the award through a surprise announcement in front of dozens of students and families whose lives she has helped change through AAMA. It really is about um, the babies who have given me all of, showing up for me all these years and helped me be able to pour into others. And I just want to thank you all and thank you all the families and community and to the Seahawks, our partners, everybody that's helpful to make sure that our babies get the things that they need to be able to thrive. And the best award is that, when they get to be their best selves. Dr. Williams was recognized during a Seahawks game in December where she received a $10,000 grant and two tickets to the Super Bowl. This is Eros Nelson reporting for First Bell. Back to our studio. SBS students in more than 100 classrooms took part in a Week of Code event aimed at increasing student access to computer programming and safe use of artificial intelligence. With the help of volunteers from Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and Minecraft, students were able to learn coding, video game design, and more. At Louisa Bourne STEM K-8 in Arbor Heights Elementary, Amazon volunteers use a new dance party software to give students an introduction to coding and AI. When we look at the jobs of the future, we don't even know what they are right now, but I do think they'll have some aspect of coding, they'll have some aspect of science, technology, engineering, mathematics. That's just what it is, and we can fight it or we can uh, uh, embrace it, and I believe our students are learning how to embrace technology just naturally. I love coding. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Congratulations to Maple Elementary for being named a state distinguished school for its exceptional student performance and academic growth. The award honors schools showing a commitment to closing educational achievement and opportunity gaps. It comes with a $15,000 grant that can be used for the school. For the principals, teachers, and staff, the award brings a sense of pride. I think that's the reason we got the award because we've been working really hard on um, being able to come together, look at our data, look at the needs of our students, and then being able to put interventions and supports in place to be able to meet students' needs. The Office of African American Male Achievement ended 2023 with a recognition event for students who show up. The We Show Up Award Ceremony honored 12 black students who continually pour energy into their academics, their school, the community, and their future. The event was meant to inspire students to keep moving forward. Each student was recognized for their work in Kingmaker, the Black Student Union, Whole Mentoring, or AAMA Family Support Work. Real men show up. You already know what time it is. Get ready for the rundown. The first semester.
semester ends next Wednesday for students in K through eight, middle and high school. Families should be on the lookout for report cards on the source in February. As a reminder, there'll be no day off between semesters this year. The district will be hosting its annual admissions fair for the 2024 to 25 school year. Learn more about option schools, talk to district department staff, and talk to schools about their programs. Explore your possibilities in SPS by attending the admissions fair on January 27th. There are plenty of ways for seniors to earn money for college. You just need to know where to look. Important information for the class of 2024 can be found on the district website. It includes scholarships and information on the updates to the financial aid application. Thousands of dollars in scholarship money go unclaimed each year, so don't miss out. You can learn more about these announcements on the district website. I'm Yanaya Oliver, reporting for First Bell. Back to our studio. That's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. And be sure to follow SBS on social media to get the latest news. Until next time, I'm Charlotte Choka McCrary. And I'm Rusan Summerkus. We'll catch you next time for First Bell.